Hello everyone, my name is Deborah Elisie. I'm a forester from Nigeria, currently running an MSc in agroforestry and food security. I'm here to highlight some of the problems faced in Nigeria on reforestation. Firstly, I'll be speaking on funding. According to the reports done by the FAO in 2001, it was reported that one of the major causes of this low budget allocation is because of the weakness of the forest revenue system and lack of attention paid to revenue generation from non-timber forest products. That is, lack of measurable framework can limit financing of restoration programs in Nigeria. Secondly, there is low or uh, there is no low or new interest loans or grants available for restoration or reforestation programs in Nigeria. In second point, the certification in the north. It has been reported by the Federal Ministry of Environment in Nigeria that between 50 and 70 percent of Bauchi, Boronu, Gombe, Jingawa, Kanu, Castina, Kebi, Sokoto, Yobe, and Zamfara State are being affected by desertification, and this is caused by climate change and overgrazing. Here is a picture showing desert like areas making it hard for reforestation activities in the north. According to a report done by the new humanitarian news energy agency in Nigeria titled Dead Baby Trees by the Millions as Reforestation Fails, it was reported that 50 million seedlings were planted in the north and it was affected by desertification. Out of that 50 million, that is 7.5 million of the seedlings withered and died within two months. The 12 million, the 12.5 million seedlings that make it to maturity are not enough to create a deforestation, reforestation, including from Saint Kabiru Yamama of the National Forest Conservation Council of Nigeria. Before now, as reported by the new humanitarian news agency, the Nigeria president would fly to one of the northern states every September to ceremonially plant seedlings for the national tree planting campaign, which often coincides with World Environmental Day. This campaign has been suspended as a result of lack of water source for nurturing of these seedlings being planted. This, however, has hindered reforestation programs in the north. Thirdly, oil spillage in the Niger Delta. Recently, this has been one of the press pressing problems faced in Nigeria. The mangrove forest is located in the Niger Delta of Nigeria. The oil spills have destroyed most of the vegetation in the mangrove, including trees, habitat lost, and animals, the death of many animals. This is an image showing oil spillage affecting some of the trees and vegetations in the Niger Delta. Here is also a report done by the Realtors, which is an international news organization in the UK. A mixture of water, gas and oil blasts the swamp and surrounding tropical trees, shattering the silence in Nigeria's Nembe. It's located in the country's oil-rich delta, and the spill, now in its third week, is a reminder of how the once fertile area is now one of the most polluted on the planet. 
Owner ITO Easton, ENP, the Petroleum Minister and Nigeria's President have all promised that newly contracted specialist workers will quickly fix the Santa Barbara wellhead. For those who depend on the once fish-filled creeks, like Afier Safer, a solution can't come soon enough. This net with this boat, where on I see so? This net and the boat that you are seeing, the oil that is spilling, is what is disturbing us. This basket you're seeing is the crayfish that I sell for a living. Now they're all dead. We cannot get anything. We are suffering. See this oil all over me. Nearly 70 years of oil and gas exploration have decimated the Delta's environment and consequently its fishing and farming based economy. With limited options, many youths are driven to piracy, illegal oil refining or militancy. Itio, a Nigerian company, bought the Santa Barbara well from oil major Royal Dutch Shell in 2015. Some locals and environmental activists had hoped that indigenous companies with closer ties to the region would be more effective at preventing spills. But local ownership is little comfort to Benson Daniel, the community development chairman of the Sand Sand Fishing Settlement. Now we are sick because of this gas exploration. We can't even cook in our house because we are scared we may start a fire. Make fire, not come Just see how the area is. See us, the area been. Atio said the high pressure of the leak kept it from accessing the wellhead immediately. Oil spillage is, in Nigeria had caused a lot of greenhouse emission, loss of livelihood, diminution of our ecosystem, depriving reforestation, among others. Lastly, poaching of logs and urbanization in the southern part of Nigeria. There are a lot of several illegal logging activities in the southwest and southeast in Nigeria. The large scale corruption scheme in the Nigeria timber sector has led to the rapid degradation of fragile of our fragile forests. This also has deprived reforestation activities from taking place. In terms of urbanization, it had led to the destruction of some forest reserves and plantation in the southern part of Nigeria. For example, an event that happened in Nigeria in 2015. The Cross River State authorities in Nigeria announced plans to build a six-lane, 260-kilometer, 162-mile highway that will link a port in the capital city of Calabar to Benue State in Nigeria. Since 2016, there have been threats on the destruction of the Inconio Ekuri Forest for the development of the highway. This is a picture showing protests held by this community to deprive the destruction of their rainforest. Despite this protest held and petition written, yet the governor of the Cross River State and the Forest Forestry Commission have failed to respond to them. And since 2019, logging of the community forest has continued and intensified. Yes, the community has still been persistent. And on the 20 on the 4th of May 2021, it was reported that 24 Ekuri community chiefs and elders wrote a letter to the Nigeria president, President Muhammad Buhari, requesting him to intervene. But up till now, there have been no response on this matter. These are few problems depriving reforestation in Nigeria. Thanks.